there are certain areas of PR and sort of propagandizing with regards to intactivism that go completely under or unutilized altogether. Areas that are just absolutely rich with potential. And there's one that has been staring at me right in the face, and I've never seen an intactivist actually use it. And that is the fact that the American Academy of Pediatrics and Douglas Dikema were literally promoting a form of female genital mutilation in 2010. Okay, the American Academy of Pediatrics and Douglas Dikema, their resident bioethicist, I suppose, were promoting a form of female genital mutilation, I mean, essentially as a harm reduction strategy, uh, in 2010, for a little while before the public outrage uh, caused them to retract the position. But it is, it is there. It is on record. The American Academy of Pediatrics supported a form of female genital mutilation. And that's a perfect way of wording it. That's 100% that's true. And the guy that was there promoting it sat on the 2012 Circumcision Task Force, was the bio, bioethicist on the 2012 American Academy of Pediatrics Circumcision Task Force. The way you use this is that during any kind of interview, if the interviewer or if somebody that you're debating, if it's a doctor or anything, starts to bring up specifically the American Academy of Pediatrics Task Force statement or anything implying that the American medical community endorses circumcision, you immediately come in and tell them, no, 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 no. The American Academy of Pediatrics, the same people that put out that statement, they supported a kind of female genital mutilation. They support female genital mutilation. They have zero uh, standing to be talking about uh, genital surgery. They have zero standing to be talking about circumcision. They have no credibility whatsoever. Absolutely none. They supported a form of female genital mutilation. They have no credibility. Their credibility is gone. They supported female genital mutilation. And you have to... I mean, for, for goodness sakes, folks, <coughs> we as intactivists get gaslit all day long in regards to the, the, quote, benefits of circumcision. Because it, it just it has no bearing on the fundamental ethical problem of genital mutilation and of forced amputation, and yet we are gaslit all day long about this. It is time that intactivists started to learn how to gaslight the gaslighters. Again, it gets brought to you during an interview, um, or, or a written interview, or, or I also think that you may want to preempt this, because these interviewers, if even if you're not debating a doctor, they will... They will see, especially if they see a protest, they'll go interview you because you're there protesting. But then, oh, they'll go to the local hospital, of course. I mean, I, I made a, an entire video about the fact that asking an American doctor about circumcision is like asking Jeffrey Dahmer about killing and eating children. It's a form of self-citing. If you're accusing the American medical community of committing a horrible human rights violation, you don't go and ask them about it because the answer is predetermined. Um, but anyway, they, they will very often go do that. And you may want to preempt it by saying that you realize that the people that are promoting this, like the American Academy of Pediatrics, they promoted a form of female genital mutilation. They have zero credibility here. I mean, for, for goodness sakes, we need to take advantage of everything that we have, and this is staring at us right in the face. The American Academy of Pediatrics, and literally the same person on the task force, literally the same person, was promoting female genital mutilation two years earlier. We gotta learn, intactivists need to learn how to gaslight the gaslighters, and this is staring at us right in the face. This is ammunition. Put it in your ammo box and take it with you to the next protest. Uh, it'll be powerful. Along with that quote about self-citing, um, I think the video I made on it was called 
a circumcision infinite loop my AAP policy statement or, or something like that. Go watch that too. When it comes to circumcision, intactivists must learn to gaslight the gaslighters. Tell me what you think. Tell me in the comments. Take care. Bye-bye.